Everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome, Barbara. Here. Barbara. Barbara is on a mission. She's on a mission to break up her son Aaron and his girlfriend Amanda's toxic relationship. You see, Barbara. Barbara is convinced that Amanda has been cheating on her son with multiple men. And she is 100% certain that Aaron is not the father of Amanda's one and a half year old son, Logan. Look. Nobody is coming between me and my son. Not no hillbilly, white trash, poor like her. There is no way that my son is the father of Amanda's baby. Amanda is a whore. She has slept with everyone in her hometown. She has no idea whose child that is. I am a classic Southern belle, and my son is a classic Southern gentleman, and he deserves more than a tramp like her. She's trash. She's a whore. Secret? Uh, it's no secret to my son. He called her in oh, my bed with another man. going to get married to me. He did? Yeah. Oh, going to marry but she your said son. that they weren't having sex. Oh, yes, and I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> but wait a second. Your son fell in love with her. He's not in love with her. He's not? Then why is he with her? Because she tells him that that child's his. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe that child is his. No, it's not. No, that child's not his son. That Have you seen son look? is your look grandson, look and I'm about to prove that look. to you today. Put that picture back up here. <laughs> You can't, My son has black you can't, hair. You, why can't black you? Eyes. Why no. can't you bond with that boy? Why should I want to? I don't want to be a white trash hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring her out before I bring your son out. Oh, well, you better put her over there. All right. This is what Amanda had to say. Watch. My fiance Aaron is a mama's boy. He is convinced that I am cheating on him because of his loud mouth mother Barbara. He is even denying our son Logan because of that bitch. My friend got really drunk and passed out of my bed one night. Aaron thinks that my friend could be the father of Logan. It's impossible because we never had sex. Barbara tells Aaron I am a whore and that I sleep around behind his back. When I went to visit Barbara, she wouldn't even hold my son. She called him dirty. Aaron needs to get his head out of his mother's ass and learn how to trust me. Everybody. He's not the father here, of that here, child. Here's no. Amanda. Amanda, come no. on out. She got... Yes, yes, Amanda, yes, she Amanda where, my son. whose ring is that? That is my ring that your son gave to me. Oh. This ring is fake, fake, fake. <laughs> we're going to see. We're going to see. We'll ask your son when he gets out here. Okay, wait a second. She don't even know me. You have the biggest reputation in your what town. What reputation? Oh. Excuse me, you don't even know me. That's how you sleep around. Yeah. You know, advice. Put an aspirin between your legs. Oh, and really? Let me tell you something. Stop the name going. You know, my audience thinks it's very difficult to believe that you slept with a guy in your bed and didn't have sex while, oh. while Aaron was on the couch. Aaron and I wasn't even together at that time. I didn't want to be with him. He was trying to get back with his ex girl. 
girlfriend. We weren't even together at that time, and that yeah, was my yeah, best friend. I never touched him. Never touched at him. At all. Anybody prove that today, too? Aaron thinks you've cheated on him. Aaron well, Aaron's not cheated on him. He knows it. He told me. Here's Aaron. Aaron, come on out. <laughs> This is all I put up with is this constant bickering no, back and right. forth, back and forth. Okay. Right I can't put up with it no okay. more. I'm but tired Aaron, of it. Sit down. Right here. What's going on? These two women are at each other's throats. They're like this all the time. I don't understand why. That she can't you, accept you, my relationship with the girl that I love. You love her? Accept my baby. Oh, look at that boy. If you yep. love look me, at that boy. He's got my eyes. If you love me, how are you going to tell your mama that I'm cheating on you? Now, at the first part of our relationship, that you didn't have the love and compassion that we have now, and you just let an, 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 another guy into your bed. Well, I was on the couch. If that's his child, can you make it possible that you can get together with her? No! Now you're gonna move away from me? If you can't even give my son a chance, if it is my kid, I will take care of your child, but not, I don't want anything to do with it. You're gonna I have to establish some kind of communication no, so we can no, all get along. No, you, no. you wouldn't no. even hold my well, son at all. You don't have anything to do with him. All right, so we might as well find out what's going on, because we have a lie detector back When it comes to one and a half year old Logan, Aaron, you are the father. Oh, Test here. Oh, well, we'll just get to that. We got the Thank lie detector you. test, all right? You were yeah, asked if you are in love with Aaron, Amanda. Mm -hmm. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> you were asked if you had sexual intercourse with your friend who slept in your bed. Don't say he, she's telling the truth. <laughs> I'm telling you the said truth. no. The lie detector determined. She's telling the truth. <laughs> Amanda, you were asked if you had sexual intercourse with any of the men who you text messaged during your relationship with Aaron. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Shut up. Now, wait a second. Now who's the and Amanda here? was asked if she's ever had any sexual contact of any kind with another man during her relationship with Aaron. She said no, and the lie detector determined she's telling the truth. <laughs> That's your grandchild. Sorry. I have ten other ones. I can love them and give to them. And not this one? I bet you'll grow to love her. I will never uh, grow to love him, her. Well, how about that grandchild? You'll grow to love him. I will work on it. Thank you very much. Now, in 2016, we met Kayla, who was desperate to prove to her ex-boyfriend, Peter, and his mother, Vicky, that he was the father of her daughter, Lily. Now, Kayla was joined by her fiancé, Tim, who was furious over Peter's denials. Peter has some damn nerve for denying our beautiful daughter, Lily. He has done nothing for her, and I am 100% positive that she is his. Peter's stupid mother, Vicky, puts lies in his head. That's the main reason that he doesn't believe that he is the father. I can't stand Vicky. She needs to shut her mouth. The man Lily knows as daddy is my fiance, Tim. He's taught her everything she knows while Peter sits back and watches another man raise his kid. Peter claims that he's tried to set up DNA tests for us to take with Lily. That's a lie! He's the one that refused to show up to test that I've set up. Lily is four years old and Peter has missed out on everything. Both he and his dumb ass mother better start treating her like family. So, 
Now, everyone should understand that Kayla and Peter have an older child together. Peter does not deny that child. So why does he claim your older child, but not Lily? Because his dumbass mom likes oh. to put something in his ass. Oh, you're okay. such a so. bitch! <laughs> Shut up, Vicky! Shut up! This has nothing to do with you. When you told Peter you were pregnant with Lily, what did he say? Was he happy? He was happy. He was there for me throughout our whole pregnancy. He was at the hospital. Um, he held my hand through everything. We went home as a happy family. So now, if Peter's not there to raise Lily, who is? My fiance Tim is taking care of her since she was four months old. Tim, does Lily does Lily call you Tim or Daddy? Dad. She calls you Dad. That's yes. my daughter's dad. By the way, what do you think of the two of them? Uh, I think Peter's a coward and a boy. One man. He one is man. a coward. This is a coward. She's just crazy. She's a liar. Put you, stuff in Peter's what, head. Do you know what Peter and, and his mother say? They said that they've tried to get you to a DNA test on several occasions and you never showed up. They have never, ever tried to get a DNA test for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? You if, if that was the case, I'm the one that wouldn't have called the Maury show. I called, not him. You think? You think Lily looks like Peter? Lily look exactly like him. Look at, look at this, look at, he has no lip, look at that. Look at that, look at the little pinch of the eyes, look at that forehead. They look exactly like each other. Has Peter done anything for Lily? Nothing, he has no phone calls, well, no I, Christmas well, presents, so no wait, cards, so no minute, diapers, wait. no this nothing. Is, this is what I don't understand. If there's another child, that he accepts, what's it like when he comes and sees the other child? My daughter, Lily, only knows him as Peter Lariah's dad. Lariah is my oldest daughter, and she does not know Peter as anything but Lariah's dad. All right, we're gonna meet them both, but first, let's meet Peter. Peter, come on out. Has she said anything so far that's a lie? Yeah, a lot. Like what? Like what? I've done more than once. <laughs> trying to get DNA tested. No, you have not. How have I? No, you what have the, not. What do you mean? You I'm done more than once. No, you have no, not. How have you not? How have you not? You, you ain't done nothing for anything. You ain't done anything. You ain't done nothing. You ain't done nothing. You're the oldest dad. You don't do nothing. You ain't do nothing. Peter, sit down. Okay. Why are you so convinced that she cheated on you? Let's see. She slept with my best friend. She slept with no, multiple I different dudes. No, That's I why she can't okay, not cheat it's on her own. It's true. You know damn well, well that you she slept with her. No, Peter. I didn't. Every time her head I never slept with anyone. I never yeah. cheated on you. Clap your I know, like yep. I said before, I will take a lie detector test to prove that I never was unfaithful to you. Yep. Okay. Peter. Peter. But you were happy when she told you she was pregnant, right? Yeah, because I thought that. I loved her. She said she loved me. She's with but me. It's, how am I jealous of that? How am I jealous of that? I've got another daughter, and I'm happy in my relationship. Why do you say something was off when Lily was born? When my first daughter was born, I bawled. I bawled my eyes out with joy. She looked just like me. She's built like me. She, she is 100% my... You cried my... in the room when Lily no, was born. I did. Yes, you I did. did. I had a Lily looks she wasn't exactly like, like no, she you doesn't. How does she look like she me? She has my really? body and she really? has your face. No, not anywhere look, near. The nose look, is different. The chin is different. Look, nice try. You have no, no left Nice left try. Left no, no, yours. no, that's, that's yours. Uh -huh. Look no. at the forehead. Hey, look at her you've forehead. had your time. Why don't you let somebody else speak? You say that you tried to get a paternity test? Yes, multiple times. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. went through the courts no, the first time. I went through no, child support twice. You refused to take a yeah, DNA uh -huh. test because hey, you didn't want to pay the money. Why don't you shut your lips and let somebody else speak and let them say what they got to say? Wait a second. Are you jealous at all of no. the relationship? My woman's way he better was, than you. He was I mad when we broke up, about. and that's when the denial started. This is started. what Vicky had to say. Watch. I can't stand Kayla. I can't stand her whorish ways. I am so sick of the drama she's put me and my family through. I've had it. It's going to end today.
Kayla damn well knows she was sleeping around on Peter when she got pregnant. Everyone knows it. For God's sake, Lily even looks like one of Peter's friends. I hope that Lily is Peter's. But if these results prove that she's not Peter's daughter, I will bring hell down on Kayla for the four years of crap she's put my son through. Everybody, here's Vicky. Welcome, Vicky. So, Vicki, I want to hear you. Why don't you like her? What happened? Her whole life is a lie. She's a whore. And I'm telling you, if this girl had as many penises on the outside of her, she's a she'd look like a porcupine. I was never unfaithful to Peter. The you only are time. A liar. You the mean only time that. To the it. only you time. You admitted to I it. never admitted yes, to you anything. Did. You know what is called speaking The call, only Kayla? time that's that's when you, you got mad was best. when I dumped your son. Okay, no, that's enough. Vicky, 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 let's go back. You think, think there's something fishy about the dates in terms yes, of conception? Yes, I do. Why? Yes, I do. Why? Because she gave two different conception dates. No, I didn't. One at the beginning of the month and one at the end of the month. No, I didn't. When Peter wasn't even around for one of them. Really? No, I didn't. I got yes, pregnant at the did. beginning of August, right really? before Peter went to the Why did you tell me you were pregnant at your birthday? What the hell do you mean? Nope. Nice nope. try. Nope. Do you think that they look alike? really don't know. Did you and Peter uh, try to get a DNA test? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. He set up several DNA tests for no, her to, no. to come to... Liar, yes. liar. Really? Really? You really, want to call really. lies, Kayla? Yep. Then why did you tell Peter that he already had the... D you already had the DNA test results back? Uh, why I did never you do once that? said that yes, I had DNA tests. No, I did it. You said we used to say that you already had the I DNA test back. I called the show. Yeah. Yeah. You told me that. I assume that since you're in the life of your older daughter, you would be in Lily's life. No, yes. she won't let her. She, she won't she let her. She won't let her. You won't let You won't let her. 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 What I'm saying is, is if she's mine, yes, I screwed up by not being there. But she told me I'd never be her dad, never be her father. Because she told Lily. There in the first she told place. Lily to call another man dad. Call somebody else daddy. Okay. If yeah, I, because if he I wasn't am there. The because you wouldn't let him. You've been waiting four years, okay? Yes. All right. We have the answer. Let's get to it. <laughs> when it comes to four-year-old Lily, Peter, you are the father. <laughs> start being there for you, okay, kiddo? No matter what you need, I'll always be there, all right? Sorry I haven't been there, kiddo. I love you very much. Now I know, so I'll actually be there for you, okay? Love you. We checked in with Kayla, and guess what? She let us know that she and Peter are co-parenting, Lily is doing great, and get this, Kayla has a new boyfriend, and they just welcomed a baby. Amazing. This is Victoria, and Victoria has been here three times now. Last year, Victoria came on the show to find out if her boyfriend Clinton was cheating on her. <laughs> and on, on the program, <laughs> we're shocked to find out that Victoria's boyfriend revealed to her he was having sex with Victoria's own mother. Carol. <laughs> So shortly after that show, Victoria comes back and she says she's leaving Clinton for good. So those are the two shows. First she finds out, then she tells us she's gone. Now it's six months later and Victoria is back with us again because she's back with Clinton. She's back together with And she suspects that Clinton and her mother are doing it again. Here's what happened the last time they were on the show. Less than a year ago, Victoria came to us because she suspected that her boyfriend was cheating on her. 
with someone very close to her. Who do you think Clinton's having sex with? My mother. A few minutes later, Victoria's mother, Carol, and her boyfriend, Clinton, had a devastating secret that they wanted to reveal. I am sleeping with her boyfriend, Clinton. I have been sleeping with my girlfriend's mom for a couple of months, and I'm confused. I don't know what I'm going to do. I love my daughter's boyfriend. She needs to know the truth. Why don't you do that to me, Clinton? You worry, you know what I'm saying? No, I, no, I no. Why don't you do that to me? You want to be with him? You want to be with him? Sorry. Mom! Mom! I'm sorry, Shug. Why are you doing this to me? I love you, Shug. You want to sleep with somebody now? I can hook you up with somebody. I got plenty of men. I'm not. Why you got to sleep with the one I'm in love with? A few hours later, Victoria's mother had yet another confession. I know in my heart that I am still in love with my daughter's boyfriend, Clinton. I love my daughter with all my heart, and I don't know what to do. I am so confused. After the show, Victoria's mother swore that she was no longer sleeping with Clinton, and Victoria decided that it was time for Clinton to finally be gone. You took him back. I took him back, Maury. Right. So now, you're here because you think they're doing it again? Again. What's going to happen if you find out they're doing it again? This is the last time, Maury. This Yo, is the last time. You really think so? I know so. You say you love this guy. I do. Last I do. Last night, we spoke to both Clinton and Carol. And they told our producers something, and now they want to tell you a secret that they had. Watch. Victoria, I love you with all my heart. I'm here today to tell you a secret. Since the last show, I've been having sex with your boyfriend, Clinton, again. We've had sex two times since the show. I know it was wrong, but it happened. Victoria, I am so sorry. I am so confused. Please you forgive me. Victoria, Victoria I, wa I want you to concentrate, because they had something else to tell you. They want to tell you, so they want to tell you something else. Victoria. My second secret is, for the last two months, I have been trying to get pregnant by your boyfriend, Clint. I am so sorry. your daughter in this kind of pain. Mom, Look at the pain you caused your daughter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is y'all doing this to me? Well, you don't I'm need sorry. this kid. I'm sorry. It's Clinton, what happened to us? What happened to us? It was an accident. But I thought you told me you loved me over and over. You said that you didn't. You told me that you weren't going to have no more secrets like that to tell me. I apologize. You shouldn't have happened. Mom, I'm sorry. Mom, I ain't got nothing else to say to you. You need to go somewhere and fix yourself. I'm sorry. You know what you gotta do? You gotta forget about these two people. Get away from people. me. Get away from I, I me. Get I'm away sorry. from me. You gotta forget. You ain't sorry. The only way you're really sorry is if you forget about this yeah. guy. That's the only way. And if you have a baby, I'm sorry. Get away from me. Get away from me. I'm sorry. 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 What kind of harm you can cause your daughter? You can't yeah. do this. I know, Maury. You're a mother. Everyone, this is Candace. Welcome Candace to the show. Now, you see, Candace is 24 years old. And she goes with a guy named Dale who is 45. <laughs> it is cool, you know, for anyone to suspect that the man you love may be cheating on you. But. What if you believe that the woman he's having sex with is your own mother? <laughs> she caught Dale and her mother, Michelle, in bed together. <laughs> now, 
Guess what? Now, but the mom has an explanation. The mom, Michelle, claims that she was in bed with Dale because the couch was not comfortable. My fiance, Dale, means the world to me. We were supposed to get married, and I put the wedding on hold because I believe he is sleeping with my mother. Me and my mother used to be so close, but I can't even look at her the same. Every time I come home, I see Dell and my mom laying next to each other in the same bed. They try to convince me that there's nothing going on, but he's always talking on the phone to her, and he smells like her perfume. My mother has done this before with my first love. I hope he is not cheating with my mother, because if he is, I will never speak to neither one of them again. We've given and Candace's mother Michelle lie detector test. We're going to reveal them in a in a moment. But first, you actually caught him in bed. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know Dale anything. is backstage the right now. Here's what he had to say. And everything. Candace means everything to me. I would like for her to be my wife, but she's driving me crazy. She thinks I'm sleeping with her mother. I met Candace through her mother. Me and her mother, Michelle, have been friends for over two years. If I wanted to be with her mother, I never would have got with Candace in the first place. Candace just doesn't trust me. I work really hard to keep a roof over our head, and I just can't have her paranoia destroy us like this. She needs to stop being immature and realize I want her to be my wife. If we can't get past this, I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, everybody, here's the boyfriend, Dale. Dale. <laughs> I mean, I do anything for her mom. She's a friend of mine, you right. know. And yeah. I mean, if you, have a, if you got a true friend, you're gonna help him out. And you think, and Candace thinks you're too good a friend. Well, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. It ain't nothing like that, boy. Maybe no. friends with benefits. Yeah. Nah. Nah, man, that's crazy. Yep. Well, of course, mother is the missing piece to this puzzle. <laughs> and, this is, and this is what Michelle had to say, what? I love my daughter Candace deeply, and I am tired of her thinking that I'm sleeping with her man Dell. Me and Dell, we have been friends way before they even got together. I personally think that she can do way better than Dell. I think Dell needs to find somebody his own age. It hurts me so much that me and my daughter don't even talk because of Dell. I need her to know that my love for her will never die. I've made a mistake in my past, but I would never make that mistake again. And I hope that we can move on and be a family again. Here's Michelle. Michelle. Do you think that I would ever sleep with your boyfriend? Why yeah, you? because you got it. No. What? Why not? Because of the age difference. I want her to be with somebody her age. Age ain't nothing but a number. Yeah, more, yeah, I mean, you can't choose love. who you fall in love with. But all I can do, Murray, love. is yeah. support her. She's my daughter. Right. I've been through a lot with her. I right. will be there for her. Have you ever had... I'll be there before he would okay. be there. Let me ask you this. And uh, I don't even know if we even asked this on the test, but I got to ask him. Have you ever had sex with Dale? Once. We asked you, are you in love with Candace? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We yeah. asked you, have you ever had phone sex with Mother Michelle? <laughs> you said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Uh, okay. We asked you when Candace found uh, you and Michelle in bed together, was it because you were having sexual intercourse with her? You said, no, the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. 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 
We asked you when you come home smelling like Michelle's vanilla perfume, was it because you were having sexual contact with her? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. What is that? Let's hear it. Okay. And we asked you during your relationship with Candace, have you ever had sexual contact with any other woman, including Candace's mother, Michelle? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. I want to hear her. We also gave Candace's mother, Michelle, a lie detector test, and she passed it with flying colors. I was the mother, and I saw the baby, and I saw the son. She's the one that jinxed it and said, your son is going to come out white, blonde hair, and blue eyes. She's the one oh, that she said, was God, 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 God. When Jaden was born, he came out with blonde hair and blue eyes. Until I know this is my grandson, I'm not doing anything for the baby. <laughs> That's a beautiful baby. Yeah, right. It ain't my son's. If I read that he is the father, you will be in this child. No, life. I will not. What? Oh, no, I will not. Chris, you are the father. So, did you get in that child's life? Yes, I did. Okay, fine. But now Tina's here to defend another of her children, Destiny. Welcome, Destiny. Destiny's... Destiny's ex-boyfriend, Junior, is completely denying that he's the father of her seven-week-old son, Dominic. And Tina and Destiny insist they're going to prove that Junior is wrong, and they're going to do it with a DNA test. Look, this is my grandchild. Okay, he's denying he's the father. What's the main reason he is saying he's not the father? Why? He likes to do everything that everybody else says. Let me tell you who he's listening to, Destiny. He's listening to your own brother, brother. your other brother. Yeah, the one that was not going to be having sex Brian, is Junior the father? No. He's not the father? No. Why is he sleeping with everybody? She's <laughs> Wait a second, Brian. You think Dominic, that little child, looks like Junior? No. Crazy. Ever since this baby has split up our household, split it up, all we do is fight over this baby. Was Junior there for the pregnancy? Yes, he yes. was there for the pregnancy. He cut the vinical cord. Did he sign the birth certificate? No. Nope, he didn't no. sign the birth certificate. Why he not? Was there if when he I... cut the umbilical cord, why didn't he sign the birth certificate? Because as soon as everything was done, he just left. I'm not going to sign something. He's not going to sign Well, I'm sure Junior has a lot to say about all this, don't you think? This is what he told my producers. I know Destiny Baby isn't mine. I knew it the minute her fat mom, Tina, said Destiny was pregnant. Destiny is a lying bitch. She cheated on me our entire relationship. Everybody knows how Destiny gets around. Even her own brother told me Dominic wasn't my son. The only reason I went to the hospital was to see if that baby looked like me. He didn't, and he doesn't. I don't have any connection to this kid. Destiny and her big mouth, loud ass mama need to stop pinning this baby on me. Man, I can't wait for Maury to read those results. I can just hear it now. Junior, you are not the father. You can't wait. Here's Junior. Not my 
my baby. Junior, we're gonna find out, right? You said you can't wait. I can't wait. He doesn't think he's the it's the baby, does he? Nope. How about other people say it's not your baby? Why? Because he doesn't look like me. And you think she messed around? Yeah, she did. She did. That you baby looks just baby like daddy. you, Junior. Come Junior, on, that baby looks just like you. Like he told me. 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 That's pretty tough talk. You think that all you, all she's doing is convincing her daughter that you're the father. Right, that right. That's a lie. But she know, but I'm telling you, you need to shut up. But you were like, shut, shut up. up. Shut up and let your daughter talk for herself. Shut up and let your daughter talk for herself. No, you shut up and let your daughter talk for herself. By the way, if it's your child, yeah, you'll step. treat this child the yep. way you treat your others, yep. right? Yep. Yep. Exactly. You're a good father to yep. your kids. Yep. That is his baby. When it comes to seven-week-old Dominic Jr., you are the father. <laughs> Nobody. Get out my face, Destiny. I'm Leave not me alone. In your face, I'm behind Get out you. my face. I'm behind Leave you. me alone. Leave As me alone, because you, you know damn well that baby wasn't mine. You know it. 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 You and your mama. Come on, man. 99.9%. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Nothing. You nothing. Nothing. I don't care. Mind your business. No, the baby's mind your business. Now take care of it. You right. I am going to take care of it. Just like I take care of the rest of mine. Yeah. Word. Now back up on my face. No, I'm back up on your face. We'll never forget a fuming grandmother named Sherry. You see, Sherry was desperate to prove her 19-year-old son, Joel, did not get this 30-year-old woman, Lakeisha, pregnant. Sherry believed Lakeisha was trying to trap Joel because she thought Joel would be a good father to her son, Peyton. Watch. You're furious at her. Yes, I am, Lord. Yes, I am. Because I trusted her. I believed in her. She was my neighbor, Maury. Right. She, she helped me raise my son. How I would go to work and I would ask her to watch over my house. Oh. Make sure everything is going okay. Right. And, you, and she was stealing your son right from under you. Right there, Maury. Right from under me, Maury. When did you find out that he was seeing her in a more intimate way? When I found out she was pregnant, Maury. Oh. So she you didn't know that until she was pregnant? Till she was pregnant. That they were sleeping together. Yes. I see. And that's, that baby's only two months old, right? Yes. Oh. Keisha was living with her other kid's father at the time. Oh. That she was sleeping with as well. So you came home from work one time, and what did you see? I seen Joel coming out of Lakeisha's house. Ah. Oh. What did you say to him? He was supposed to have been catching a bus that time of morning. Yeah. And, and what did you, when you questioned Lakeisha, what did she say? She denied it. Oh, she denied they she were together? She denied it. She oh. told me there was nothing going on. They are living together, aren't they? Yes. Because oh. he moved out of your house, didn't he? Yes. He's, and he moved out of the neighborhood. Yes. She needs to be locked up, Maury. Oh, wow. She needs to be locked up. <laughs> Lakeisha is a predator. She's a predator. No, 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 we're not going there. But I'll tell you this, okay? One thing that we did check out. You think she's 32 years old. She's really 30 years old. Maury, she's closer to 32. No, no, she no, She was 30 not. when she started fooling with my son. Oh. He graduated school. He was all set for a bright future, right? And she stole it all away. He was going to go into the Navy? Yes. You think he's a different person? Yes, he is. What do you mean he's a different person? How? He's not the same anymore. Joel used to come to me. We used to talk. I don't see him anymore. 
She keeps him hidden away with her. Are you confident that that's not your grandbaby? Yes, I am, Maury. All right, we're going to find out before we meet Sherry's 19-year-old son, Joel. We're going to bring out his 30-year-old girlfriend, the neighbor, Lakeisha. <laughs> You've been listening to her, right? Yes. Why do you think she's doing this? You're not even there for your son. What Keisha, do you mean? What you mean? No, I'm not you there. not. You not. And for you to sit up here and try to come on here and bash me like this, you wrong. I did not start sleeping with your son. He was 18 years old. Forget yes, about boy. whether it was 18 or 17. I don't care about that. What I care about is the fact you're 30. Right. What are you doing with a high school boy? <laughs> Arrested. They arrest these white women for sleeping with these little boys. She needs to have her black ass arrested. Why are you with the child that young? First Why? of all, it wasn't even supposed to be what it is now. It just started out as me getting revenge on my ex, and then it turned into what it is now. But she was still living with him. How is that revenge and you were still in the same household with him? You don't mean nothing. You, you don't even know. You don't even know what you're talking about. Sherry, sit down. Look at, it's more than look what at you your child. Mean. Look you at your child back there. Look, look what he's doing. Oh. Keisha, he didn't look happy. He does not look happy. He's not happy with her and what she's no, doing. What You're he's, the reason that you know we what, don't mourn. You know what he's not happy with? You he's not happy with the situation. That's what he's not happy with. Yeah. What are the possibilities that one of your ex... There's no other possibility. Put up the picture of the baby and, and Joel, please. Let me get my sex They look, in. They look, look like... Look at my baby. They look like... No, my baby look, look at like my me. Baby. You stole. Look How at my I baby. Him. With your lying, deceitful ass. <laughs> my friend. Let's see if you can get it. What you're saying, Lakeisha, is that Sherry is trying to block Joel from being a father to this Pretty child. much. Because the first time you seen him, we here. The very first time you saw my son was two weeks ago. I want to meet your son. Here he is, Joel. <laughs> this is very emotional for you, I know. And I know the reason is, you know, you feel, I think, you're just caught in the middle between yeah. two women. Yeah, Two I'm women caught. who are much older than you. Mm-hmm. Very much so caught. Because this is my mother. And this is the mother of my child. It don't matter about what we got going on. I claim that child with everything in me. And for you and for my mother to not even have my back at all, and when your first time seeing you, no, you don't. I do have How? your back. I don't How? know. This girl told How? me she was not. Okay, wait a minute, Joel. Joel, let me get this feeling, okay? I'm thinking about when I was your age. If I had a 30-year-old woman show Please. interest in me, I would be bedazzled. I, <laughs> I, I, I would. Does it have something to do with the fact that she's much older than you? Yes. No, no not at yes. all. Yes. Not at all. Not she doing all. things more that not these young girls are not, not doing. Not at all. Okay? <laughs> that's, all. What it, that's what it is. That's what it is. Do you think you look like that little boy? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. I feel well, as it's if a I beautiful do. baby. Have you ever thought that it might be one of her exes? Nah, never. See, when He's I look, when I, when I look at this kid, when He's I look at this kid, too. I see He's myself. Too. I see myself. I don't know where she get it from. But when I look at this picture right here, I see me. I see me. With everything. What about I don't you, see it. Joelle, everything What about your future? What about yeah. this future that your oh, mother future. had for you? Future. The future that my mother has for me. What about me? What, 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 what are about, you doing then, Joelle? What, what she got me? you doing? What about me? Not yeah. Yeah. Man, you you not you 
Joel, you're assuming that you, you know what's going on. Girl, Bob. Would you have gone into the Navy? For my mother. You would have done for it for her. your mom. Because she wanted to. But she what she wanted got to you more doing? Than me. What she got okay. you doing? Okay. Baby, send her love. 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 For real. I go love me. She doing this. She doing this. She doing this. I don't care about your problem, doing huh? this. I don't care about that. Okay, what happened to the answer? Okay. Okay. Stop. Stop. And you doing it, bro? And you doing? I want, I want some promises. I want some promises before I open up this envelope. Here's the promise I want from you, Sherry. If this is your grandchild, you will get into this grandchild's That's life. That's why I'm here, Maury. Okay. And, and, and you will be a good mother to your son. Okay? Yes. Okay? And you will try to get along with her. Maury? <laughs> Maury? Mama. It's all about if. It's all Mama. about if. Okay, more. Okay. I, I, I'll be cordial. Lakeisha, I would want the same with, for you with Sherry. Because guess what? You're going to tear this young man apart if the two of you continue even, to she's argue. She's the one that doesn't like me. Okay, I have fine. no problem right, with her. And Joelle? None. I would like girl, you to do girl, something girl, for you, me. I got a right? problem with you. So Whether you're how the, would you like to have a no. Whether you're the father or not, if you're thinking about pursuing a career in the Navy, I want you to continue that thought and don't shut it off. Yeah. When it comes to two month old Peyton, Joelle, you are the oh. father. Well, five years have passed, and we recently checked in with Sherry. She told us Joel and Lakeisha are still together. They've had a second child, so we wish them all the best. Everyone, let's welcome N.A. to the Mari Show. Now, N.A. is hoping the results of a paternity test will repair her relationship with her boyfriend, Chris, and his mother, Josephina. You see, N.A. claims these two have ganged up on her and started to deny that Chris is the father of her two-year-old daughter, Susanna. Aww. So why, why have these two ganged up on N.A.? Watch this. I'm here today because I don't believe Susanna is my baby. I think my girlfriend N.A. is playing me because she's a liar and a cheater. My own mother told me she saw N.A. sneaking around with another man. She wants me to leave N.A. Yes, that's right. She's the devil. She's very sneaky. N.A. is a liar and a cheater. Big mentirosa. N.A. was still living with her ex when we started dating. How can I trust her after that? The biggest problem with Susanna is that I don't think she looks anything like me. If the results come back that I am not the father, I am done with her and this relationship for good. Okay. So, as we just saw, Chris's mother, Josefina, is also with us today. So, why is his mother against you, do you think? Seriously, I don't know how she's gonna take it, and I really don't care anymore, because I've always respected her. I've always respected her. Why um, don't no. you like her, Josefina? Josephina says that you uh, went to look for a new place to live, right? And you walked in, and apparently Josephina says that she went into the bathroom with the landlord. Yes, yes. you remember that. You go out with, yes, with the men. And, and you know that you go around with the men. Yes, yes. Maury, yes. As funny as it seems, this is how she is yes. with everybody, but 
with me, she thought she, she I was going to stay quiet. Yes, many years. Many years I stood quiet. No. But this got to the point that it's me now. Um, I'm, I'm standing up for myself, Maury. I'm not taking yeah. it. No, 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 no. I'm not taking it. OK, OK, all right, OK. We're going to bring him out, all right? You're still with this guy. Yes, because I nine love him, Maury. Nine years. Yes. Nine years. Yeah, go into nine. Is he a good father? to your other child? He's a very good dad. OK. Is he a good father to Susanna? He's not attached to her. Not attached to her? Well, he, You he, think they look alike? Maury, look, Maury. <laughs> look, Maury. Look at this. Look at this. No. 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 It's different. No. It's different. No. It's different. No. It's different. No. Everybody, here's Chris. Chris, come on out. Your mother over your girlfriend of nine years. Why would my mother lie to me, Maury? That's your baby. They not look the same. You know, you're liar. 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 I want you to give me all the reasons why you don't think you're the father. Tell Maury. Well, Tell mainly Maury. because when I met her, Maury, she was married. She says she was still married only because she had to protect her, her child, and that's why she lived in the you same knew, house. You knew. You knew since the beginning how you met me. You knew how I dressed. You knew how I spoke. Yes, yes. But why would my mom lie to me? Because she's always been like that. I've always no. told you, Chris. You're just a show. All right, hold on. So, stand up. You know, this is the first time you need to speak for me. I could speak for myself, but defend me. I came all the way over here. Mom, for it. Look at the baby. Mary, I can't she doesn't face. look like me. Look, the face structure is different. Just look at her. She doesn't look like me, Mari. Just because you just because you comb your hair. Come on. No, Come on. you're a liar. Okay. You really think because of the way she was dressed, she cheated on you at a job interview? Maury, she was dressed too pretty for too the pretty. job she was I'm applying pretty. for. I'm pretty! You're bitching! You're bitching! She's so pretty! Okay. Maury, Maury, yeah. he's cute. Right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, come on. He's cute. Uh, I love I him, yes. You, if you would see her, her mood, her mood, everything, uh, it's him. You're it's him. Hey, and you know that. You're oh. cheating. You believe she cheated. You believe you're not the father. You go to the hospital. You sign the birth certificate. Why yes, would you? Why would you? Why would you sign the birth certificate? Why were you there? You were there, Chris. She told Maury, you I'm a were good father, there. Maury. Yes, he and is. That's why just because she he's wants a good to father? pin that baby on me because she knows I'm a good father. Oh, I see. Maury, would I actually put up with her? <laughs> If any woman, and does it have any ex-girlfriend of yours? Has any woman that had, oh my God, I love her. Oh my God, I'm gonna be there. Has anybody uh, stood up? Per well, yeah, they stood up because they left you because they couldn't wa wanna, wanna be around her. Oh. Yeah, no, it's, it's not me, it's not me. It's, it's because, because you are you know, you know, you know, you know, know you're a good person. All right, hold Anybody it, hold would it, wanna it. be with Maury, you, but you know why? It's because man. of her that's too, that's right. you I let you, this happen. Right. You need her.
This is the most important thing. In the case of two-year-old Susanna, Chris, you are the father. <laughs> The lie detector test. We got the lie detector test. She wanted yes, to do the lie detector test. Have you, have you, Anna, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with one of your neighbors? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Did you have, did you have sexual contact of any kind with any other man than the, the day you were looking at a house with Chris's mother, Josephina? You said no. The lie detector test determined. She's telling the truth. No! No! Why do you do that? Why do you do that? You are lying. You were there. You know everything. Look, look. Okay. You decided to be alone in your life because you decided to. He's calling you. You decided to be alone in your life because you decided to. And he's calling you. He has his life. Your son has his life. Let that be. Let me finish this up. Did you have sexual contact of any kind with any other man the day you went on an interview? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Anna, during your relationship with Chris, have you ever had any sexual contact of any kind with any other man? That says everything. You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> Next mom was not about to win the Mother of the Year award. You see, Dewana had betrayed her own daughter Taylor by trying to convince Taylor's boyfriend Darion that he was not the father of Taylor's daughter Chloe. Watch. In all the years, I have never heard a mother talk to her daughter like that. That's my own mother. That's my blood. Why would why would she do that to me? Did she automatically say to Darion? That's not your the job. first time she ever met Darian, she has never met him, ever. And the first time she saw him, she said, that's not your baby. She don't look like you. You think they look alike? They look just like when she was born. She had, she had the dark complexion and everything. You were very young when you got pregnant. I was. You're only 16 years old. As a teen mom, you had to sacrifice things? I had to sacrifice everything. I sacrificed school. I was wanting to go, go be a nurse. I sacrificed friends. I sacrificed everything. I had to get my little 16-year-old butt out and get a job and take care of my kid. Was you laid up and got pregnant. You're supposed to get out and get a job and take care of her. First of all, I'm going to bring out your mother, all right? I want your mother to come Go on. Look at this, you all giving each other looks. Dewana, do you know what you're saying about your daughter? Yes, sir, I do. What are you saying? I'm saying she was a slut. That baby <laughs> looks nothing like Mama, Mama, you was a slut. You had but to get I a didn't DNA test for me, right? My baby right? on anybody. Right? belong to. What you you in, don't like know said, who she belongs to. Like I said, to. was you Dewana, in the bed when I got pregnant? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? She says it's Darian's. It's not Darian's, Maury. There's no way there's three other guys. There is three other guys that can be that baby of Darian. She knows that. You was told you, me. Was you around when I got pregnant? You was you in the bed when I got me, pregnant? Taylor. Huh? Was you, you told was me. You, was you? You told was me. You? So stop lying. Okay. Stop lying. Sit down, Taylor. There were three other guys, and the baby doesn't look like Darian. No, but it looked like the other guy. Do you think it was... 
Do you think it was your place to tell him whether he was the father or not? Nope. Yes, I do. Actually, actually, Maury, it was her place to tell him. It really wasn't mine. But the obvious is the obvious. It's not his baby. And that will be proved today. Okay, we're gonna find out. There's Darian. Darian, come on out. Here's Darian. Darian, I would be so confused if I was you. <laughs> yeah, sir. You're, you're confused. Yeah, sir. You think that's your child? Kinda. Kinda? <laughs> but I have my doubts. Do you want it to be your child? Yeah, sir. You do? Yeah, sir. Were you, were you kind of surprised when her mother told you that that's not your child? Yeah, sir. It was totally surprising, coming yeah. from her own blood. Yeah. And. Yeah. But it was totally truthful, too. You'll find out the truth. 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 The truth from you'll, you'll find out the truth. You'll oh, find yeah, out the we'll truth find today. Out. Oh, we're going to know today. By the way, Duana. Are you in Chloe's life? Very much so. Yes, sir, you I are. am. Is I that love right? her very Is that much. right, Taylor? Yes, sir. She is. She is. Well, I congratulate you for being in your grandchild's life. <laughs> were you all in a relationship when she got pregnant or not? Yes, sir. You were. Okay. Well, we're going to find out right now. When it comes to one-year-old Chloe, Darian, you are the father. <laughs>